The fun thing about Sokobond is that it's real chemistry hidden inside an uncomplicated puzzle game. Every molecule you make actually exists, and the number of free electrons the atoms have to make bonds with is true to science. Then again, for those of you that don't care for science, then the chemistry is just a theme to logically explain why you need to stick circles together. Each level has a single atom that you control with the arrow keys. When you move next to another atom and you both have a free electron, a bond is created between you. Ah. This bond cannot be broken until that is introduced later, and you have to lug your new friend around with you. They can get in the way and stop you from moving through some areas, but if they don't have a spare electron, then it's possible to use them to manoeuvre other atoms into useful places. Bonding with atoms in the right order and in the right place is key to solving levels. Puzzle games never have a duty to look particularly good. The dedication to a minimalistic style in the graphics and music gives Sokobond a relaxing atmosphere. Everything is bold and easy to read, its low chords hum over the clicking of the atoms moving about. There are some really nice touches, like the way your molecule rotates and makes a jingle when you've completed a puzzle. The fact that it's so calming helps prevent the standard I can't do this puzzle annoyance and keeps you focused on attempting to solve it. It's possible to lose more time than you expected doing it if you get into the zone of slowly figuring out the solution reset after reset. If the urge to give up wins then there will always be a different puzzle open to try. The feedback for moving and making bonds is satisfying. If you're trying to shift into an area that you can't, then your atoms shake about like they're mildly distressed you would even suggest such a thing. It's also satisfying to hear that as you build up the size of your molecule, the music adds more layers to the chords, leading to a triumphant but still serene sound as you finish the level. When your finished particle spins slowly on screen, a snippet of related trivia appears. They're the kind of fact that you can have a chuckle at or tell your friends later. Once you have completed the basic levels, you unlock new sets of levels, each focusing on a new game mechanic. These include breaking bonds, increasing the number of bonds between two atoms, and changing the direction of bonds. Groups of levels start with one or two that introduce you softly into the new mechanics. Then multiple levels become available to you in a difficulty curve that has a few spikes in it to keep you improving and thinking. Each feels thoroughly explored in ten or more levels. After that, there are sets of levels that combine mechanics. When you manage to finish the game, which will take you a good while, you have the option of going back to any puzzle. Even if you've completed it, it will usually take you a couple of tries to finish. And if you feel like starting over, then there's always the option to delete your data and start from scratch. Sokobond is easy enough to pick up that I would recommend it to both puzzle fans and anyone else looking for a challenge. It is available on both Humble Store and Steam for PC, Mac and Linux, with plans for a later release on iOS. If you're interested in it, then there are links in the description. Thanks for watching! If you have anything to add or discuss about the game, leave a comment so we can chat about it. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and press the subscribe button to discover more awesome indie games. Until next time, goodbye! Yeah.